What's up guys, my name is Luke and welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be the fourth episode in the simulation course and we're going to be discussing particle advection. So we're going to be using X particles to uh, put some particles around our logo or whatever object you want to use and then we're going to use a smoke simulation to advect the particles and create this really cool simulation. So yeah. Uh, before we start, I just want to say thanks to all the new Patreon subscribers and all the new YouTube subscribers. We are almost at 1.3 thousand uh, subscribers, so that's really cool. I just want to say thanks for all the support. And yeah, if you enjoy the videos, uh, please consider subscribing and consider liking. And if there's anything that you guys want to learn or you've seen that I've done, just drop it down in the comments and I'll do a tutorial or, you know, help you guys out. Uh, yeah, and if there's anything else on this channel that, you know, you guys want to see, just let me know. But yeah, let's get straight into this. Awesome. So here is a project that I have over here. It's just a basic project and all I have is my logo in the scene. If you guys don't know how to import your logo and create it into some geometry, there are some other previous tutorials up on my channel if you guys are interested and you don't know how to do that. Uh, so yeah, let's start off with this. Let's first start off by going and creating a XP system. That is not an XP system, that is Octane Viewer. But anyways, let's grab a XP system. Uh, if you don't have the shortcuts, just X particles and XP system. Cool, let's go to our emitter over here and set the emitter to object. And set the object to our object over here. And let's check, is that working? Awesome, that's working. Cool, let's go into the emission over here, set the speed to zero and the radius to about one. And let's set it to shots, that we only get one shot, because we only really want it to appear in the first frame. And then let's change this to maybe like 50,000 for now, just so we can uh, see what we're dealing with. And if we press play now, it should cover it all. Awesome. Cool, so it's covering it like this, which isn't really that great, and we wanted to cover the entire object fully. So to do that, we're gonna use a texture. So let's double click in here, and we're gonna create just a normal Cinema 4D material, not an Octane material, just Cinema 4D, you'll see why in a bit. And then let's go into our texture of the color channel, and let's go and say load image, and I've got an image over here that I just downloaded. Cool. Let's take this image and throw it onto our mesh over here. Then if we go back into our emitter, we can go to object and we can set the emit from instead of polygon center, we can change it to texture. And then you'll see we get an extra texture tab over here. If we go into the texture tab, we can take this texture and drop it in here. And now when we press play and we can hide our logo, you'll see that the particles have spawned with the specific color that's the whatever texture you used over here. So that's really cool. Awesome. Okay, so now let's move on to the next part, which is gonna be the advection. Let's first go over here into the dynamics and add in an exposure effects. Let's just make it a little bit wider and just bring it up a bit. Let's add a sphere over here. Bring that down a bit. Maybe add a little bit more segments. It's not really too important. And then let's just bring that down here. We're gonna right click on the sphere, go to Exposure FX Source, and now this will tell the, it will tell X particles that it's gonna emit from the sphere. And now if we press play, we should get our little smoke sim over here. Awesome. Cool, so at the moment it's not really doing anything, but that is a very easy fix. If we go into the Exposure FX, you'll see there's an advection tag. And just by clicking on over here, it will advect the particles. And look at that, that's super cool. We got a particle simulation. Cool. So we can hide the exposure effects and the sphere over here because we don't really need to see it. We just want to see what's happening over here. And look at that, we got a pretty cool explosion over here. So this is pretty much the basics of the effect. Another thing that we can do is if we go into the exposure effects over here, go to simulation, and we go to sim speed we can edit this so that we can add some kind of like time remapping through it. So if I had to go over here, set a keyframe and then bring this down to like 20%, go to about frame 60 over here, set another keyframe, maybe, maybe like 65, and then go back over here and then set this to maybe 
connection 15. Now it will be time remax. We'll go fast in the beginning, slow down, and then go fast again. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Cool, so now how do we get this to look good in Octane? Because at the moment, if we had to place play, we're not gonna see anything. So let's go over here, add a Cinema 4D Octane tag, and change this to Geometry. And now we get a whole bunch of spheres, but they're not taking the color over. So to get that, we add another sphere over here. Let's change this to about one centimeter in the radius, and then throw that in here. And now we have some particles over there. Let's create a Octane material. Just a diffuse should be fine for now, and then let's apply it to that sphere. Let's go into our node editor, and let's grab this instance color. Uh, let's throw that into the diffuse and change the source from file to particle and now we can just throw in our emitter over here and now just from that it takes whatever is you know the color of the emitter and puts it on the geometry over here so that's really cool let's just change this from a diffuse to a metallic so we get that kind of shiny look and now we have a pretty cool simulation cool so let's just set up some lighting in the scene let's add a Let's add a light over here. Let's just move this around. Um, let me just set up a camera over here. Oh, not like that, but it's fine. The one thing that I don't like about the new uh, Cinema 4D is the fact that they got rid of the PSR. Like, it's really annoying. Like, uh, at the moment, they have it where if we had to go into the transform, we can just reset the transform. But then that's only the transform and not the rotation. And I find that really annoying because I used to just have a PSR button and I used to fix all those problems. But now I have to do it manually. I don't know if you guys know or of like, I don't know if they changed it in R25 and R26. But yeah, if you guys know, please share it in the comments. Cool. So let's just now click this button over here so we can move it out of the camera, but then still keep the perspective. And then let's just set up a light over here. Let's go into the animation tags, targets, and then set this as the target. Let's move this down a bit just to get this under lighting and let's bring that down maybe to like there. Let's also add an HDRI just so we can get the black environment and another HDRI, which we're gonna to set to the visible environment and then change the texture to color. Cool, in the color, let's just choose a color. I'm gonna choose a color just from here maybe. Um, it's just something like that should be fine. That looks quite nice. And then let's add another light. Let's just duplicate the light we have here. Bring that up. Bring that off to the side just so we can get this kind of edge lighting over here. Let's hide the first light and bring this up a bit. We need to move it. And something like that looks quite nice. Now we get that. Let me just go into this HR over here and choose maybe a lighter color. Something like that. Yeah, that looks quite nice. Cool. So now if we had to press play, we have our simulation going with all the colors. And the eviction looks really cool. Awesome. So now the only thing we need to add is a little bit more particles because of the fact that we have all these little spaces in between. And that's easy. We just go into our XP system, go into the emitter, go to emission, and maybe just put another zero behind here. And now if we have to jump a frame forward, now it's full. And that looks really great. And now you just cache this out and render. Awesome, so that's the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You learned how to take some particles, advect them, put them on your logo, and texture and light them. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys are interested in the project files, the entire simulation course is up on my Patreon page. Uh, if not, just consider subscribing and liking. That always goes a long way. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Have a good one. Cheers.